Hi, this is Danielle Moore with Teaching One More, and today I want to talk to you about using the difference or the distance to solve subtraction problems. Now, from a very early age, most kids are taught to think about subtraction as taking away. So, for example, if I have five water bottles and I drink two of them, how many will I have left? So they might draw out five water bottles, subtract two of them, and see that they are left with three. But that's only one way to think about subtraction. Another way is to think about the difference or the distance between two numbers. So for example, if I have five water bottles and somebody else has two water bottles, what's the difference between our numbers? I like to introduce the open number line starting at about the end of first grade for students to use as a tool for solving. So for example, it would look like this. I would use an open number line so there's no numbers on it and the student would add the numbers. And they would have two on the left and five on the right and they could use a couple of different ways of solving. So some students might start at two and count up three, four, five, and notice that the difference between those numbers is three. So their equation would look like two plus three is five. But you could also count back on a number line. So that would look like this. For some students, they would place their two on the left their five on the right, and then count down. Four, three, two. And they would notice, again, that their difference is three. But this time, the equation would be five minus three would give us two. So what's nice about this open number line and going up or back on it to find the difference or the distance between is that students start to see that there is a relationship between these numbers. Now this is not something that can be taught or told. It is something that has to be practiced over and over again as a model or as a tool for solving. Now for some kids, this might be a little bit confusing to try and figure out what's this difference or distance between because they're still thinking about it as taking away so their number lines might look a little differently. And that's perfectly fine. All of these are great tools for the different stages that kids will all go through. Some might be ready sooner than others, but a student could still start with five, subtract two by counting down, and land on three. So this equation looks a little more traditional. Five minus two would give us three. But you'll notice that in all of these different formats, all of these different equations, all of these different number lines, the difference is always three. So the open number line where kids can count up, they can count back to find the difference, or they can count down to take away because that's where they are right now, are fantastic tools for students to grow their learning. They're all gonna go through different stages at different times, but I like this one because it helps students to see that there's relationships between numbers. This is Danielle Moore with Teaching One More, and thank you for tuning in today.